guys so it is your girl again and also bring another beautiful wonderful topic okay you know every day we are all learning okay and the question is this and it is really really important we are all learning how many people prefer their marriages how do you prefer your marriage yeah how many people prefer their marriage you know, so marriage, you know marriage is not the bed of roses it's full of challenges it's full of different things because while the man is from another place you are from another place so it will take a longer time for both of you to understand yourself and doing that is not by your power if god does not stand for you and be with you my dear you know what i'm talking about those that are married know what i'm talking about you understand it will be what difficult so first of all how many people pray for their marriages even there are, there are a lot of families, if they wake up in the morning, they don't even have time to do their morning devotions. They will just wake up, find, start doing things like that. Do you think it's your power? Come on, it's not. You understand? It's not. So I just want to really bring out some point here that all women or men or those married people, please, always learn to pray for your marriages. It is really, really important. Because that is why I see a lot of homes today. It is being broken down, whether through their friends, through the devils, through manipulations, through all those things, you understand? Pray for your marriage. Pray for your home. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Pray for everything, you understand? Woman, you can do that. Man, you can do that. Family should always learn how to do money devotions. I know a lot of people, they don't have that time, especially family like this. So, so honey, please, I have, a, I have appointment. I have to rush down there. But the woman was okay, okay, okay. You know, early in the morning because it's morning time so a lot of responsibility a lot of things a lot of appointments i've just been there you understand but i understand but you have to put god first you have to put god first because you just wake up in the morning it's not your power it is god you understand so always commit your marriage your family your children into the hands of god you understand so that is why you see a lot of marriages after they just got married one more two months you know a year five years being broken because the devil himself doesn't even like marriage to come to like to work. You understand? Because marriage is a good thing. It's being ordained by God. So women or married people learn to pray together. Learn to work, to pray and commit your marriage and your family. Anything that's to do with your family and your children. Everything. Committing to God. God hangs. And with that, that marriage will last forever. And it will last to the end. It will last whereby dead do put of you apart. It is really, really important. Learn to, to always pray for your marriage. Learn to put it for God's hands. Because if God stands for you, no other person. You understand? So always pray for God. Always pray. Why are you going to pray? God, this is my marriage. I commit my husband to your evil hands. Do not allow my husband to listen to outsider. Do not allow anybody to come between in. Do not allow any family member to come between in. Let the love that we have for each other remain the same. You know, all those things. I'm just talking about marriage because I don't want to talk about children, other things. You know, so I want to live based on marriage first. Maybe if I want to talk about children and other things, it will be next time on another video. See, this, what I'm talking about is really, really important. You understand? Because fine, you pass through from January to December. Fine. What about next? What about next two years? What, you know, every day we are facing a lot of challenges. A lot of things are happening. And do you know that a lot of friends that you, you got married before then, do you think majority are happy for you as you got married? Of course, no. You understand? Family members are there. Enemies are everywhere. Woman, pray for your home. Man, pray for your home. Together, it is better than being separated. It is only God. It's not your power. Because when God stands for you, that marriage will definitely work. work. But if God is not there, it is really, really difficult. That is why I see a lot of marriages today be broken, fighting here and there, and all those things. You understand? That is why you need God. So that bad friends, bad those bad relatives, and all those bad things, temptation, manipulation, it will not come between. It will not come inside the world. The marriage that is why you have to pray for your marriage how many women pray for their husband how many women pray for their homes woman if you know you are not doing this you have to pray for your home it is really really important it is really important there are single ladies out there you know being after your husband 
and also there are men out there this is really common there are a lot of men let me talk about this it's just a little stories okay there are a lot of men they know that woman is married and they know that there is ring in that woman's hand they know that that woman has kids and is living with the husband and those uh, young guys they will be looking for one way and the other to come into that home or to come into that woman's life to deceive the woman so that the woman will leave his home, leave the husband, will go run after them. I don't know if you, a lot of people, if you have not experienced it, they will manipulate the woman. They will look for one thing and the other that the woman loves most or that the woman likes most. They will use to deceive the woman, to leave his husband, to leave his children, to run after the single man. A lot of single men, they are doing this. And they have to stop it. It is not good. Because they say, even God is said, he said what? He said, what? Uh, when uh, two are joined together, let no man put us under it. So all those single men that normally manipulate those women that look for one way and the other, they will deceive those women who are already married to their beautiful husband and their lovely cakes. They should stop doing this. A lot of men, they are normally doing this. They will deceive that woman. The woman will just forget about your husband and the kids and everything and run after the single man. Maybe the man, the single man can just deceive him. Don't worry. Oh, mama read me. I will make your life beautiful. You see the way you are. Even when you have not even married, you are just beautiful, you know, look shiny and all those things. See, you don't marry to that man. See how your life is. My dear woman, don't listen to those single men. They will always use you and dump you. They have nothing to offer. The same thing goes to men. That is why I told you, all oh, families, you have to pray for God. It's only God that can help you to, to, to take away those wicked friends, those wicked men and women away from your marriages. Marriages today, they are being broken. They are no longer together. And the children are suffering from it. You say, where is your father? My father is in Sokoto. Where is your mother? My mother is in London. That one is in life. There's no life. You need God so that everything will be together. There's not. There's nothing in this world that um, a, a parents is living happily with their kids. They have the father love. They have the mother love. All together is the perfect. Is the best you can give to your children. That is why, especially women, wake up, wake up in the midnight, pray, commit your marriage into the hands of God. It's only God that can do that for you. Fine, you listen to this advice of marriage and relationship. Fine, put them into practice. Put them into practice. Attend all those seminars where you can learn one or two things concerning marriage and relationship. Don't pick the bad one, pick the good one. Learn how to patient, learn how to manage with your husband. Learn how to tolerate your husband. Learn how to take good care of your children. Learn how to always be there to attend to your children. It is really, really important. Especially women. Wake up in the midnight. Forget every other thing you are doing. Commit your family into the hands of God. So that your marriage will not be broken by the wicked ones. A lot of marriages have been broken. Have been scattered. Have been shattered. Through their friends. To their friends. To their, you know, one way and the other. Which is really bad. The children, they are suffering from it. The children, they are suffering from it. So that is it. This is just a piece of advice for all over the world. For those people who are married, let them learn how to pray for their marriages. This is really important. And it's only God that can make it over to stand forever. Not any other thing. Thank you so much for watching. See you some other time, guys. Bye.